Happy birthday to Richard Stone. His birthday was yesterday, so this is belated. I know. He is the coolest guy I ever met from Kentucky. Cafe Blue. We're past our time today. We're really past our time. F- episode 1087. Mike's Daily Podcast. Anyway. Oh, I just talked all over everybody. Oh, you just talked to everybody. It's fine, it's fine. Moving on. Next topic, next topic. Okay, all right. Next topic. Uh, it's, what? Uh, Could it, bees be in your backyard? Tune in tonight at 11. We're at Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. The last place on earth. Why do I say that every show? And then uh, there's going to be some buddies that's going to sing... Mike's Daily Podcast. I am talking to Haley the Semi. Hi, I'm here. There is Haley right there now. Mike's Daily Podcast. We're for time. Let's sing a song about John Kasich. He is out of the race, and that makes me so sick. No, it doesn't, because I think the guy was kind of a. Wait, that wasn't very nice. I think I would like to redact that. Re re. No, you're right. Mike. Daily podcast. I, I mean, like, comparatively speaking, he's not bad. Right. Mike's. Compared to. Daily. Everyone else. Podcast. The Dead Crows. Yeah. And huge. 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 And then there's the Hillary and the Bernie. All right, we talked politics today. Hey, last show, we were discussing all kinds of interesting things like Star Wars and whatnot. Let's not do that this show. No, let's not do that. We're pressed for time. We're pressed for time. You have a green shirt. Thank you. Wow, look at that. I have a green shirt on today, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking Wha- news. It's green, and and I have just... I. Ah! Okay. Okay. We were talking about stress earlier today and about how it affects you. We have a lot of it. We're stressed out a little bit due to things, so we're just going to uh, pretend we're not stressed today. Actually, we won't. We won't. We will just be stressed on today's show. I'm constantly stressed on the show. Oh, you are? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm constantly stressed. Oh, no. The soothing piano in the background isn't soothing you at all? The drum is just freaking me out, man. <laughs> In other news today, uh, there was a story I heard as I was coming in today. That's weird. I've got this wall in my brain. Oh, look, I just walked in. Walked right through the wall using a door. Just walked in. Hello, my commands. It's Madame You two guys are stressed. Yeah, we're, we're stressed. We're stressed. I'm going to relax you by throwing talcum powder in your face. No, thanks. Bye. We're pressed for time. We gotta, we gotta move on. We've got to move on, Madam Ritter Megan. Okay, I get the point. You don't want to talk to me. Oh. Hey, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker wore a dress that looked like from the musical Hamilton. But you're not a fan of Hamilton yet. I don't know. I haven't looked into it enough. I'm oh. kind of just done with musicals. You're done with musicals, but you love musicals. No, I don't. Gotta dance. No? Mm-mm. Jazz hands? That's not me anymore. You've changed. I've changed. I don't even know. You've turned into Clint Eastwood. I can't even do it. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> My. Oh, look who oh, just walked in. Say it there. Hi. Hi. This is awkward. We should all say something. Why don't you say something, person? Let's move on. We're pressed for time. <laughs> so in radio, we have people that have never been on radio that will bring in and, y- you know, you'll put the microphone in their face and you'll ask them a question and they'll go, <laughs> what I just did was shake my head up and down and they don't realize that makes no noise when you're using microphones. And it's so dramatic. I am so f***ing impressed. You knew that was coming up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that sound effect comes up always at that time, and what Haley has done as created, timing-wise, an amazing piece of achievement. How's it going, Valentino? Hello, damn Mike. It's Valentino. 
And there's a bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, I can detect you guys are kind of stressed out there, even though this piano music is rather soothing in the background. What there. stresses you out? What stresses me out is when I'm in the parking lot and a car hasn't been appropriately packed and it starts rolling towards me and I'm like, hey! Actually, that car wasn't... It's not that it wasn't parked properly. It's that that car is Herbie, the love bug. And the it, love bug! And it's alive and it wants to kill you. How come the sound effect didn't work for me when I needed a dramatic sound effect? Dang it. You were watching the time. Well, I am watching the time because we are pets for time. What the thing is about the Herbie day is that I know how to kill a cat. That's sad. You can't kill Herbie. You can't. You shouldn't kill her. Well, I guess Lindsay Lohan killed Herbie because she yeah, well, did a movie. And it that wasn't that bad. Did you like it? I, I liked it. Michael I, I've Keaton seen, was in. I've seen all of the Herbie movies. Um, I've read Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo. Like How I was heard, that book? It was good. I feel like I read a Herbie Love Bug book once, too. Yeah. They did come out with books for Herbie the Love Bug all the time. Yes, I want to make sure that as I'm talking, my levels <laughs> are just, I'm just changing constantly. And, and you're like, the what the hell like am I listening to? And we're talking over each other. That's not good radio either. I hope you're as stressed as we are now, listeners. <laughs> if you're not, then your day is just too relaxed. Yeah. F*** you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. We, we we need to walk outside of Cafe Anyway. We're bringing Mike Steely podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Uh, Valentina, what else did you want to say? Yeah, I missed the actor's studio. That was a good show day. Yeah, it was informative. It talked about actors. Do you know that? I've never heard of it. James Lipton's on it? I've never heard of him. James Lipton's the bam. The bomb? The bomb. The bam. Oh, okay. The bam. La 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 ba la la bamba. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. La la It's Cinco de freaking Mayo. It's Woo! True. Do you know what I like to do on Cinco de Mayo? What? Fill myself up full of beans. Beans. Because beans are a big part of the dish of Mexico. You can refry them. Or you can just leave them whole. But you always have to soak your beans in order to make them edible. That's true. I know that. I also like the avocado and what you can make with it. Mm -hmm. And avocados are full of omega threes. You know what? You know who aren't stressed are the Mexican peoples, for they have the siesta every day. Mexican people are extremely stressed. They are, especially the ones living here in America, because it's like, oh, Trump's gonna throw us out. Ah!" Their government is worse than ours. And there's the cocaine and and the drug dealers. All that. Sorry, that just slipped out. <laughs> what do you think? This is Howard Stern? And that's why they're coming over here. Because of Howard Stern? Yeah. No. Well, there's drug deals and all this, that nature. It's like, of course they're coming to us. Do you know, I feel as if we should apologize to Mexico before we build that wall. I'm sorry. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> there's the wall. There's the wall. Haley's now, are we apologizing for the wall, or are we just apologizing in general? Uh, I don't know. Take your pick. This is the last show you're on this week. Yeah. We only did three together this week because of things. Because I was off on Monday. My dearest listener, this podcast might not be coming to you as frequently as it has in upcoming weeks. We will. I just want to say there might be an adjustment period for things. I'm yeah. not, I can't go into anything clearer than that, but just so as you know. But some strange circumstances. Some strange it's going down. Might be a foot. May 7th. Which is this set? Do you just put your foot up to the microphone, mm-hmm. or close to it, or not even close to not it? Not even close to it. But you did put your foot up. These pants are restricting. These boots were made for walking. Christopher Walken. Hey, you guys are doing a lot of free form thought there, sort of stream of consciousness. I'm Christopher Walken, not really. I'm Christopher Walken. That's two mice fall into a bucket of cream. 
<laughs> the first mouse drowns. The second mouse swims so hard the cream turns into butter and walks out. Catch me if you can. That was from that movie. He was in Catch Me If You Can? Oh my god! He was in Catch Me If You Can! Charlie! Oh, that. Charlie, sit. Oh, uh, what, what's his name? Frank Abingdale? Frank, sit down, I'm your father. <laughs> I love that line. It's, it's delivered so quick. Frank, that, sit down, I'm your father. That basically sums up uh, what's Pr- his face. Christopher Walken. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna read these lines dramatically! I'm just going to say them really quickly and stop. Listen, see this face? I'm Christopher Walken. <laughs> I, are you saying that I should do something in this movie that isn't Christopher Walken? Because <laughs> I'm Christopher Walken. Because I'm on. Christopher Walken. We love you, Christopher Walken. But you know <laughs> what? I, a lot of his movies are really violent and I can't handle them. Really? I don't I'm, know. I haven't seen too many Christopher Walken movies, so I can't really... Catch Me If You Can was not violent. Do you know that our rating system on television it is so messed up that like it'll say this is a this is suitable for ch- children to watch and it's violent as crap people's heads are getting blown off uh, and that kind of thing. <laughs> I listened to a thing on C-SPAN about that um, just to help you. I don't know if that's. Do you know Do you know what's not news? Is what I heard on the AP News report today. If it's not news, why are we talking about a repressor time? Stephen. AP News report, right? They're talking about uh, Kasich suspends his campaign. Uh, Trump is uh, now the presumptive nominee. Blah, 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 blah. Stephen Colbert had God on their show last night. That's what they said. Had God? God. So Stephen Colbert says, hey, we have God on the show. Hey, God, do you know uh, Trump is now the Republican head nominee? And God goes, what? How did that happen? Oh, my God. Who the f*** authorized this? They sh- they played that on the AP News report. I'm like, what? But NPR News reports have, like, weak-ass news like that, too, sometimes. Uh-huh. So, I guess all we're saying is don't listen to the news. But listen to our show, even though it will be coming to you more sporadically. Hey, next show uh, is going to be maybe a little bit longer than this one. This is the all-time shortest one we've ever done. But as Haley was telling you earlier... Repressor time! So enjoy your day. You're more than halfway through the week. Depending on when you're listening to this. Maybe you're at the beginning of the week, but right Keep, now it's... You're halfway through the week. Keep living on a preak. Living on a preak? That sounds very uncomfortable. It's, I, I, I had to rhyme. I can't just say prayer. It's sort of like that Kasich and... Redact rhyme I did earlier. But that was bad. Haley, have a great weekend. And and don't worry, man. All shall be well is all I'm telling you. Boodoo. 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 Exactly. Boodoo. 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 Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. I'm not worried. I'm happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. I should fade this out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, is that what you're getting at? Jumps in. I'm Bobby McFadden and I hate this song now. <laughs> and here's today's podcast picture. The podcast.
podcast picture is a picture that Haley likes of the Madison Library in the small town of Madison, Alabama. It's not that small. It's actually kind of big. Almost bigger than Huntsville, Alabama, which is where I lived in northern Alabama for two years, which I've talked about many times. But they had this really awesome library. And you could go in this library and you could check out any CD you wanted. So I'd check out CDs and rip them and I increased my music library on my hard drive. And I'm like, oh, I don't need CDs anymore. It was a wonderful moment. Anyway, you can see that picture now at mikesdailypodcast.com. The picture from yesterday was that cool drawing, which, which had a fun punchline of O Canada that featured you, Valentino. Yay. I like Canada. I hate heavy dough. Heavy sucks. You know that. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.